makes its way up the eastern seaboard. People from right here in Portland have gone to help. Fox News Kelsey Watts is live with what they're doing on the ground. Well, Pete, right now the Red Cross has 16 people from all over Oregon and southwestern Washington responding to places like Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina. And we spoke with one of them today, a man from northeast Portland who says they're bracing for whatever happens there in the next 48 hours. We're expecting the storm to really start hitting us in earnest uh, later tonight and tomorrow morning early. Malachi Hindle is one of many Red Cross workers waiting for Hurricane Matthew. He's the disaster program manager in Portland who left home Wednesday for South Carolina. Now he's rushing to get shelters ready and people moved in before the storm hits. The storm surge is particularly scary when... Uh, the name of this chapter is Low Country, um, and that's with good reason. Um, it's, it uh, floods pretty easily here. He says people there are nervous, even fearful for what may come, but they're also well prepared. Some 20 shelters are open already. I'm just getting ready to go for my shift tonight into the shelter, and we'll all be staying there together for the next 48 hours, and, and keeping up fingers crossed that this is smaller than anticipated. Farther south, Sean Kerwin and his family from Canby are in Florida for what they thought would be a Disney World vacation. But with the storm approaching, the park shut down. Now they're waiting it out. We've only been seeing gusts of like 45 miles an hour. So it's really hasn't been that bad here, but uh, we wanted, I reached out to my friends and family back home there in Portland to let them know that we're okay. We also caught up with two Mercy Corps workers at the Portland airport Tuesday as they left for Haiti, where the eye of the hurricane made a direct hit. Damaging winds and rain have destroyed homes and valuable crops families rely on. The next harvest isn't until August. People are really just very heartbroken so to have lost all of that. Uh, on the heels of one of the worst droughts that Haiti has experienced in several decades, is it really makes it hard for families to survive. And, of course, one of the biggest concerns isn't only for the next few days, but also for the months ahead after this storm, especially in places like Haiti, but also along the eastern seaboard. And for now, Red Cross workers expect to be on the ground there for at least two weeks, and then they'll assess what else needs to be done at that point. Reporting live in North Fort